the TSA has unironically spent almost $19 million in the pursuit of advancing civil rights, which is a pretty hefty bill for a government agency that violates civil rights. If they really wanted to boost civil rights, they'd just disband the whole agency. Instead, they've decided the best way to contribute to the cause is by adding a gender-neutral option to their x-ray machines. X-ray machines that still show them the junk in your trunk whether you identify as a man, woman, or potato chip. Money well spent. Hey there, Liberty fam, and welcome back to the channel. You know, I honestly can't think of a better way for the TSA to spend $19 million than to allow them to label a body scan of my lady bits as other. I mean, what else do we really need in a government agency? I also can't think of a better way to hedge against inflation than by buying into Acre Gold's gold subscription service. It starts as low as $50 a month and basically acts as a savings account that allows you to invest in gold without it coming out of pocket all at once. As soon as that account reaches the price of one of their gold bars, you get that gold bar shipped right to your door, quiet and discreet. To find out more and help the channel, use my link down in the description. Now, to be fair, it seems that these days the TSA software scans the body and uses a generic gender-neutral human silhouette to highlight to agents areas that require a more thorough search. The problem is, or I guess I should say what TSA thinks the problem is, is that the AI program uses a different algorithm for men and women. Current procedure is that a TSA agent has to look at the passenger and select man or woman on the machine. Men are the blue button and women are the pink. <laughs> Then the computer does its thing and shows a generic human outline like at crime scenes because let's face it, the TSA is in of itself a crime against liberty and says beep boop beep, check spot XYZ. But you see, out of the TSA's average of 26,000 complaints a year, 6% of those complaints are now LGBTQ complaints about being misgendered. So let's put this into perspective taking off your shoes and all this other nonsense to get on an airplane was supposed to be a temporary measure after 9-11, but here we are over 20 years later still doing it. You're not allowed to bring a bottle of water on a plane, have to walk through x-rays and pat-downs and practically get assaulted just to move around the country from point A to point B, and the TSA fails every time the FBI tests them with fake weapons anyway, and the complaints the government listens to are misgendering. Actually, that, that sounds about right these days. The change is coming, at least in part, due to lobbying from Representative Taylor Small, a trans legislator in Vermont. She says that she has to get pat down in the groin every time she flies because the TSA computers are gender biased. The rest of the push came from the Inclusion Action Committee, which was launched by the Trump administration in 2020. No one should be getting pat down in the groin if you ask me, but she and the folks at Outright Vermont say that the TSA procedures are designed to target trans and non-binary people and prevent them from living lives of self-determination and joy. So, they say this $19 million technology overhaul isn't enough and that the TSA needs special diversity and inclusion training too in order to protect trans health and safety. According to the FBI, the TSA can't ensure anyone's safety, so I'm not really sure why they're putting this much faith in a government organization. Uh, but in an age where using the wrong pronouns is violence, I guess whatever floats your boat. This isn't the first measure the TSA has taken in the name of gender inclusivity, but it is the most expensive. First, in February, they decided you couldn't consider gender when comparing someone's passport or ID photo to who they said that they were. So your ID can say Fred, and you can say, no, I'm Sally, and they aren't allowed to question it. Then, in April, they allowed people to pick their own genders. Again, it didn't have to match their documents. They were also allowed to pick a different gender or simply select an X while checking in and on their passports. 
the new scanners will hit U.S. airports in January. Current procedure says that if a person doesn't fit their presumed gender or if they look like a masculine femme dog kin but are really a feminine masculine cat kin, they can skip a pat down simply by opting to go through the scanner as the other gender. But this is apparently transphobic. That's it for this video, folks. There is a wild baby on the loose, so we are cutting the outro short. Please like, share, subscribe, check out today's sponsor, and I will see you in the next video.